So somebody's in their ego here. I, this is the first time I've seen this this um, devil. Well, not devil card. You could be a Capricorn. Somebody could. You could be dealing with a Capricorn. You could be a Leo. Damn. So somebody's in their ego and their pride. Show me more here, Holy Spirit. Whoa. Hold on. I'm putting this back because I don't know how that went. I think that was the two of cups, but um, we gonna, we'll see what else comes out. Oh, the hair font is out here and the lovers. Dang, three. So we have three major arcana cards, Gemini, Taurus, and Leo energy, and definitely some Capricorn in here too. What is going on? So this is, there's a love connection here for sure. Okay. Definitely a strong connection here. Interesting. And the hair front. All right. I will show you this lover's energy, but they're, they don't have clothes on. So let's just keep it moving. So we got somebody here in a connection, in their pride and in their ego. Show me more here for the collective. Some of y'all could have been committed to this person. Um... Seven of Cups crossing. What is going on? Let me get more information. Show me more about the Holy Spirit. Five of Cups. Can I say this? Because I really don't want this to be what this is, but I'm going to pull some more energy. It really looks like somebody may have tried to do some form of magic roots something or try to confuse somebody and now that whatever magic or whatever they, they did is was returned to sender or this person regrets doing that magic five of cups energy somebody here tried to cloak themselves i feel like somebody tried to cloak themselves here because he's wearing this cloak and he's looking at looking at um three of these cups that are spilled there are two cups behind him Oh, show me more. I don't know. Just hang in there with me, y'all. Four of Swords. We have the Page of Pentacles. Okay, Page of Pentacles. And the Four of Swords. So, show me more here. The Sun card, Leo Energy. This is the back of the sun where the sun is not shining. Somebody's having a difficult time here. Somebody's having a really difficult time here. Nine of Cups. Dang, I'm getting some greedy energy from this. What's this Nine of Cups? What's this Nine of Cups? The Fool. And what's this full energy? Aries, Aquarius energy. Um, a new love offer. So somebody here has the Knight of Cups. There's a new love offer coming in here. Somebody, who is this new love offer? Uh, it could be a reconciliation. I just, because there's somebody in your energy that regrets doing something. And now you have new love coming in here. There's somebody, whoever this new person is, they want to give to you Six of Pentacles energy here. But this is like the back of the Six of Pentacles. Hmm. All right. Um, who is this person in this Five of Cups energy? Holy Spirit. They could be a Gemini. All right. And then Seven of Pentacles. I feel like this is somebody who try, may have tried to do some magic and it didn't work. And they're just sit, they sat back and they waited for something and, and they didn't get the result that they thought they were going to get. What's this uh, magician energy with the Seven of Pentacles for this Five of Cups person? Yeah, it th thank you, Spirit. Okay, I'm on the right track because this, this energy was looking kind of weird at first, okay? So for those of you who are still with me, the Ten of Wands is here. Like I said, whatever this person tried to do, whatever magic or spell or whatever it is that they did, um... I felt like this person was waiting for something to happen and it didn't happen. All this did was bring them more burdens into their life 
while they're about to sit back and watch you be in this nine of cups, the fool and page of cups energy, getting new love, getting something or just being happy, happy in your own life. Like they didn't stop anything. They wanted you to be in this confused, delusional energy. <sighs> they may have paid a practitioner with this page of pentacles and this hair font being here. Um, and the seven of cups. Okay, or they could have practiced magic themselves. This person could be a occult. They may have experience in that type of thing, or they may have tried something, but whatever they, they try to do, five of wands on the top of the deck. All they did was disturb. They it's like so you know the they say volcanoes don't erupt for like, you know, they only erupt every like one hundred years or something like that. <clears throat> Excuse me, you guys. I feel like Whatever they did, somebody woke a sleeping giant. This could be them waking up your ancestors. They want somebody tried to go to war with you. Somebody tried to go to war with you, and they are not going to. This came right back on them. So you may have done a return to sender. All right, let's pull some oracle cards and see what energy comes out for this person. Y'all hit the like button for me if you're still here with me. What's going on in this situation for the collective, please? Holy Spirit, what's going on in this situation for the collective? We have separation. Yeah, like whatever this person is upset with you because you're, you know, they're in their pride and their ego that you're not with them. And so they sent love magic or spells or something or paid a practitioner or did it themselves. Ooh, show me more. Yeah. You're starting a clean slate here. You are hitting the reset button and you're, you are in this full energy. You're ready for new. You want new. You're, you are welcoming this new beginning in. I feel like you did some healing work. Tell me more here. Didn't I say earlier somebody is greedy? I was getting greedy energy. Look at what just came out. Greed. Gr greed for sure. Too much greed, overindulgence, tarnish a, tarnish a spirit, tarnishes a spirit and leading it astray. It encourages us to strip away the unnecessary purity of our lives and concentrate on nourishing our inner selves. Somebody else is in this greedy energy. Spirit babies. What is the spirit babies and greed? Somebody may have tried to sacrifice somebody's upset with you and they tried to sacrifice something you i feel like you walked away you are either a spirit baby or a star seed or, or somebody very very special when this person sent magic to you i feel like it, it it woke a sleeping giant which are your ancestors or whoever it is that you are protected by the energy of the super superstar signifies a journey towards a significant recognition. Embrace your, your unique abilities and stay authentic to yourself as these qualities will guide you to fame. Some of y'all are on the way to being famous here. Like nine of cups, you know, the full page of cups. Whatever you're walking away from and this person trying to stop you from doing, it's only actually, it only like helped you. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, all it did was, I think it gave this person this, this ten of wands and it, it helped you. That's crazy. So they basically messed around with the wrong person. So you, you walking away was good. So good for you that you walked away from this person. You were supposed to walk away from them. You're headed in the right direction. Okay? And some of y'all are headed towards a road, a path of stardom. Whatever you do, you may get recognition in the public eye. You might have spirit babies or like um, gifted children, or you could be a gifted child yourself. In the future, you may be having star babies or spirit babies with somebody new. That's too many spirit. Give me one card at a time, please. Show me more here. Who is it? Show me this person in this greed energy. Tell me more. Who's in this greed? Okay, thank you. 
if somebody who's emotionally unstable, I told you, somebody tried to do do something and all it did was it was return it was blocked and returned back to them. You got a new lover coming. I told y'all. I told y'all you have a new lover. And this person is really upset about it because they tried to block it. And they were not able to block it. Because you are protected, ancestor connection. You are a superstar. You're in this star energy. Show me one for the plate, dude. Yeah, you're a, you're a healer. You have gifts. You have gifts. You have a prayer warrior. You have a healing touch here. Or there's something about you that's very healing. You're a prayer warrior here. Okay? You're a prayer warrior. <sighs> Whatever magic that this person may have done... It didn't work because they missed a step or they didn't do something or they didn't do it right. Maybe this person didn't know what they were doing. Um, also, too, I'm going to tell you this. This may have been a long road. I see you walking away from something and healing and walking into something, a new chapter, right? With this full energy and this page of cups. You didn't miss any steps, right you didn't rush your goal and you may have felt like this is taking a long time well that's because everything that you experienced between now and then uh, then and now was meant for you to build your character and be strong and become this prayer warrior and become this healing person all those things happen for you to have your for you to ascend and tap into these gifts so, well, yeah look at this victory over your enemies yeah Somebody really thought they were going to get you or do something, and all they did was fall down these dang old steps. Tell me more for the collector. Yeah, you have money coming in here. This says a significant financial blessing is on its way to you, a reward from the universe for your continual generosity. Generosity. That's what I'm saying. You're in this energy of being generous with other people, but there's somebody around you or this past person that wanted did wanted the blocks. You know, whatever this was, they wanted the block because you were moving on and they didn't want you to move on. They're in this energy of greed. The unexpected. Boon is also a sign that a recent money ritual was successful or it might suggest the need to do one. Keep your heart open as prosperity approaches. All right. Okay, let's see. Wolves in sheep clothing. Huh. Yo, who is this person? Why was this person trying to block the collective? Why was this person trying to block the collective? Bottled up emotions. This person has a, okay. I see. I feel like this is just look like a potion or love spell or something like a bottle, a love potion or something. I feel like this person still has feelings and emotions for you, and they're in their ego and in their pride, and rather than just say that they want to block you. Why? Why do they want to block the collective? They don't want you to have your special abilities here. It, oh, they don't want you to meet. They don't want. They didn't want you to come into union with a divine masculine, who is chosen, who has abilities that are kind of like yours. Look at this. Heightened abilities came out with divine masculine. That's why they were trying to block this. Okay. Whoever this divine masculine is, their th third eye is wide open. They don't have to see anything. They, this person sees with their third eye. And I feel like so do you. You and this person were meant to make spirit babies. Somebody here was trying to block you. Somebody either told a reader, went to a reader, or saw a reading, or paid somebody, or did some magic of their own to keep you from moving on from them, or or to try to get you to return to them, because I, I really feel like you had already walked away from this person, and someone either told them, or this person knows that you were getting ready to come into union with a divine masculine that was just like you, and the two of y'all are going to be very powerful and do well in life with big money being here, right? Um, prayer time is here, healing energies here, star energies here, and spirit babies is here. 
it's like you, the two of you were going to come together and create spirit babies and do something together and accomplish some things. The devil does not want to see that. The devil didn't want to see this. Wow. Confirmation. Dean just came in my ear. Well, all right. So what's happening to this person that is tempted to do this magic? What's happening to this person that attempted to do this Holy Spirit? All right. Well, they're no longer protected. Okay. And roads are being blocked for them. Okay. Opportunities are being blocked for them and they no longer um, are protected because we have David's key that came out in reverse, which is about protection. And then road opener came out in reverse, meaning that no, the, these roads will not be open for this person. This person is being blocked. Yeah. Uh huh. And they, they, this person thought, this person has a God complex. They thought doing magic was going to stop something. They were going to stop you from having a gifted child. They really thought they were going to stop you and this person from having a gifted child, but they didn't do anything. They didn't, they didn't stop anything. Justice is here on the top of the deck. Justice is being served in this situation and this person is going to get karma, but believe that. I was not ready for that energy. Hmm. Show me more here. Let's move on to a different deck about this person. Show me this person who has a God complex. Who is this person? Who thinks they have a God complex? Who is this person? Um... Somebody who plays play games for sure. You have a new person coming in though. Spirit is talking about a new person. This new love will try hard to win your heart. Okay. A new love interest will be easy to get to know. Smooth and steady. Relax and see where it goes. Past life. You'll meet someone you've known. You've known before in a past life. Someone from your soul group. Smooth sailing. So this is going to be real easy between you and this person. Divinely guided and divine timing. This love will be divinely guided. Trust the process in this relationship. You are exactly where you need to be. We can never manipulate time. You can only work with it. Start working hand in hand with your divine time. And I feel like this person tried to, to change something. They tried to manipulate time or they tried to de delay something from you meeting this person. Another being in my ear confirmation. Um, wow. You're attracting someone new. Okay, spirit. Spirit may not want to talk about the past person anymore. Can we, is there anything we need to know about this person who you know, was doing this magic or the enemy. Hold on, let me see. Let me flip this over. I feel like spirit is still, you and this person could be long distance and this person's uh, personality could be like very dominant. And they preferred you to be submissive for the person who has a God complex, okay? Very maybe controlling person or this person thought they could control you. But I feel like you have a twin flame here. The situation is going to involve a twin flame. So I don't, um, let me, let me clarify this. Who is this twin flame? Who is this twin flame? Who is this twin flame? Okay. Abusive relationship. Yeah. This person was controlling. They want, this was one way. This was a one way situation. This person wanted, like I said, it's like, they don't want you to move on. They don't end, but this is so weird. Unrequited love can be painful. Protect yourself and try to move away from the pain, the past and the end in the pain in a positive way. Choices. This was a player. This person was a player. 
when you have new love, this past person may try to come back and talk to you. For some of y'all, this person could be married here. Unspoken love just came out in reverse. Somebody's getting ready to profess their love to you. Whatever they were not saying before, they're about to say something to you. So that could be the past person. I mean, no, the, the new person. Oh. Show me about this unspoken, um, unspoken love in reverse. Divorce. The score. This is the, okay. This is the person from the past. They may come towards you. This person is married or they're, they've been with somebody for a long time. They may come towards you and say, I'm getting a divorce. I'm no longer with the person from the past, but this person is still a player. Divorce just came out in reverse. Okay. Um, power couple just came out in reverse. Okay. Whatever is going on in this marriage, right? This commitment is not working. It's no longer working. Whatever was working is no longer working now. <laughs> Like, literally, we have Marable here. Wow. And then we have this player energy here, the score. Be careful with this per person. And then on the bottom of the deck is open relationship. Oh, uh, yeah, you're going to guard yourself from this. You don't want anything to do with it anyways. So just be careful. Uh, what else does the collective need to know about this past person? This person is still in pain and they're not letting you know that they're still in pain. That could be what that unspoken love, you know, was. But I feel like this person wants to say something to you, though. And they are going to say something to you. But I feel like whatever they say to you is not the whole truth. OK, they're hiding something from you and they want you to know that they miss seeing you. And they know this person knows that the two of you don't share the same values. OK. You know, I would just tell you, just stay away from them, but you do what you want. You know, you, you have free will. So can we get some details about the new person? Holy Spirit, this new love. Any details for the collective, for the new person coming in, for the collective? The Spirit said no. Spirit clearly said no. Like spirit is talking right now. Six of Swords is spirit talking and guiding me to say no. Eight of, eight of Wands in reverse. <laughs> spirit is like, no, we're not going to tell you nothing. And spirit may not want to tell me anything because it might not be meant for me to put this out. Somebody could be cross watching. It might not be meant for somebody else to know this information. So, yeah. Five of Swords, Six of Swords. Spirit with the Ace of Swords, Spirit is like, nah, uh-uh. Well, I'm going to leave it there. Get a personal reading if you want one. So that way, you know, Spirit don't want me to tell. So we're we just going to leave it there. I love y'all. Have a good night. Um, like, share, subscribe to the channel. And join us on Patreon, too, if you're interested in Twin Flame readings, Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine readings. We do that over there all the time. Plus the videos over here for only $5 a month. So... I'll see you guys later. Bye.